Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my fairly complicated phone line simulator circuit. So if you've ever wanted a fully uh, automatic working phone in some sort of haunted house or in just in your home for fun, I don't know. I've made this circuit that will actually make it ring and you can also program it to play uh, different audio files through it. Unfortunately, I have not been able to come up with something that you can actually dial. I'm working on that, though, currently. So basically, if you pick up any of these phones, if it's, um, I've converted this phone here to be a regular, uh, phone, uh, jack. So basically, any phone that plugs into a regular phone line, you can actually plug into this circuit. So there's a speaker in the phone which is playing the ghost host audio and then I have this uh, Fender amplifier over there playing the organ. So this lantern here indicates if the phone is picked up or not. So if you put the phone back down, the lantern turns off. This, the clicking noise is one of these relays which triggers this to play the audio file. And then this is what's actually running the relay. So I've designed this circuit board here and what it does is it's running off of a train controller. Basically you need like a 12 volt power supply to run it. And then um, the capacitors uh, eliminate the buzzing from the controller then these speaker wires here actually go into the circuit and are basically wired in series from the end of the um, power supply wires and one of these goes into the phone one of the phone wires and then the minus side from the power supply goes into the other phone wire and so that enables it to play then basically what this LED is, is these resistors go from the main power leads to limit the voltage going to it. And then when you pick up the phone, it causes some sort of interference over the photoelectric switch. Basically one of these. So these are light sensing switches. So then I have an auxiliary cord coming from the end of the photoelectric switch and the um, plus positive power lead of the LED going to these two auxiliary wires which goes into here. So basically whenever you pick it up it causes interference. So I've programmed in a couple different spiels on the phone and I've set it to momentary input so the minute you set down the phone it stops playing the music. And then um, you can also use one of these phones. I'm not sure if you can really hear this phone. It's a little um, harder to hear. You could also have this phone. I'm not sure how well the microphone is able to pick that up. This one was the hardest one to get working because it has illuminated uh, keypad. And there's actually enough power that you can also hear the numbers. So I'm working on trying to make the circuit being able to recognize a pulse signal. Because I have actually been able to perfect it enough that it's able to blink that fast. But I'm still working on, on making it be able to recognize it that quickly. So the last thing is I also programmed in a 110 ringing voltage. So I have the ground on 110 wire on the minus side of the circuit, which is always connected. And then the 110 hot wire goes to these wires here. So basically the white is the voltage output from this circuit which has the power and the um, audio 
and then the blue wire is either that voltage back to the phone line or it can also be the 110 voltage. So I have it wired up to this trigger here. So if I press it, you can hear that it actually rings. So that was a little trickier to hook up because I had to, this is my custom uh, 110 outlet um, circuit here. So basically when input 1 is triggered, it triggers this outlet which is the 110 voltage output and then this relay number 4 is the 110 input and the um, 12 volt power from that circuit and this is the output to the phone wire so if you have any questions regarding this circuit just let me know and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos on my channel.